Hey, it's MK, and I am here with another Scraps to Embellishment hop with Ginger's Corner. I am also combining this with Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and this gorgeous sketch here by Ashley the Scrapping Nerd. <laughs> I love this sketch and how open to interpretation it is, but it was perfect for Ginger's theme for today, which was either four leaf clover or green leaves. And so I thought, oh my gosh, this is the perfect page kit just for making these little embellishments. And I have some green scraps to play with. So I was so super excited um, to find all these little green scraps hanging out in um, my cocoa vanilla stash but of all places. So I'm just sharing with you guys um, a, my little cheat sheet that I have here. It, share, it shows that um, I'm using this with Ginger's um, scraps to embellishment and then the theme. And I pulled out some punches for my leaves and my green things. I also have this adorable wood set by Scrapbook Addicts. Um, it says, take a hike down here in the words, and then you've got this tree line. And I'm not sure if this is an individual tree or if um, it uh, just kind of got broke off in the packaging because I'm not the world's softest person, just saying. So these little chipboard pieces are from Dusty Attic and they came in the September monthly box. I have a few of those left if you guys are interested. Um, it came with a lot more than just the chipboard. I have two photos here of um, Nana and Papa and myself, and then I have this leftover piece uh, from the Ginger's, I think it's Ginger Snap um, collection from uh, Pretty Little Studio. And then I have these, uh, oh man, I love this wood grain. Um, I think it was an ocean one by the sea, I wanna say, by Cartabella. And then these two plaid pieces that don't end up being part of it, but they're from Minte, the garage collection. And then I pulled out these three um, wood rounds that are from uh, Scrap and Happy Studio, uh, it, their little uh, epoxy flare, they also don't end up on this layout. And then, of course, one of my other goals that I am trying to do this year is use up a bunch of my pre-made mixed media backgrounds. Now, most of my backgrounds are from cleaning up my mess. Um, so I just really don't, they're a good foundation for something um, or a little splash in the background, which is what this is going to end up being. Um, but it just was the perfect goldy yellow color for um, all the papers on this layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around my um, my cutting circle from Creative Memories and I'm going to, um, it's going to be ending it's going to end up messy but i traced around it once moved it slightly traced around it again moved it slightly again and then i'm going to trace around it and then after that i realized that i wanted it a little bit more messy than uh, a perfect circle <laughs> traced around a circle um so once i get three of them i'm just going to take my um my pen and hand draw a bunch of circles and I'm much more happier with uh, how this looks because it kind of hid and uh, disguised the perfect size of the circle but I was also able to get a messy circle in the same size without having to guess whether or not it was actually a circle so I was super stoked about that all right so for this um this beautiful print i'm going to use it as my photo mat but i'm also going to use it as the strips that are <clears throat> excuse me down the uh, left hand side of this paper i love this sketch because of the fact that it comes together so quickly plus the scraps that i chose were already in strips and so that designated how wide my strips were already going to be which i like you don't necessarily have to make that many strips and you don't necessarily have to make them that exact size now i do like the fact that you can see her sketchy circle or her circle um, behind all those strips she gapped them out just enough to where it you could see it um, however i decided i did not want to do it that way um, because I, I really wanted my papers uh, to be ever so pretty um, and, and present on this layout. Um, they're just, there are a few of my favorite picture, uh, my, my favorite um, papers, uh, well, I should say from last year. <laughs> Um, and, and I just really didn't want uh, to trim them down enough to where 
that you couldn't really see them or, or appreciate them as much as I do. Um, I love, love the colors in this floral print um, by Pretty Little Studio. I absolutely love it. Um, it is just a gorgeous print. I wish I would have had more, but I'm kind of glad I don't because in the end, it, it was really hard for me to use. Like I used it last month, um, as a grid on my paper because again I did not want to use it up and so it became the main focal point of my entire layout because I used such a large grid portion on my layout and then of course this year uh, or I'm um, this year this layout I am getting it used up by using it as a photo mat so you don't appreciate the print as much but you get a little bit of color shining through and then here I chose to use the part with the um, the butterfly, which is actually my favorite part. The, the color combination on that butterfly is just super pretty. Um, and I don't know why I'm so drawn to it, but it has to be present on my layout for some silly reason. Uh, but yes, I definitely wanted it to, again, be the star of the show. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff up the edges of uh, both sides of all of my strips, even though I don't end up using them all. When it came to uh, this plaid print, it matched beautifully, but um, I, I ran out of space. Um, and it could have been because I chose not to cut down any of my strips. I wanted to keep my strips exactly the way that they were, uh, but I definitely wanted to keep them to the left. And so when I kept them to the left, I could only use so many strips because I didn't want to hide my floral print. Um, I, I, was, I wasn't going to... Um, shrink my floral print any farther than I already did and uh, so I do end up liking only using the five strips and then I will save all the other strips for something else because they do happen to be um, you know my favorite and, and they just go really well together because of that slight blue hint that is in this awesome wood print you guys it, it is so cool and it the wood print actually has these strips on them so it looks like planks um, of wood and then they form together one solid sheet of paper right and so what I do is I just end up trimming it down to have my wood strips um, sometimes uh, other times I use it as a whole um, I've used it quite a bit I bought lots of these sheets you guys because I just love the color combination within this wood grain all right so on to the embellishments I'm going to put the layout off to the side here for a quick minute and move on to the embellishments which is the point of the video so Ginger came up with um, creating embellishments from our scraps. And what Ginger is known for is her hops using handmade embellishments. And she puts a hop together, I want to say once a week. Um, I, I'm not really sure. I, I lost track because the girl is psycho crazy with how busy her, um, not her channel is, but her... Um, her swapping is it's it's just crazy so she has a main swap which is a, a big swap between a large group and then she has mini swaps between only four people um, which I think is total of five people because I if I remember correctly I made four and I received four back but I was I should have been the fifth person right I, I see I get so confused <laughs> I still get confused, but she has a whole video explaining all of her swaps. She has a whole channel, a whole Facebook group, the whole works of how her swaps work. Um, and she wanted more videos of people making the swaps for when they swap in her mini. So this was the theme I think for this week is uh, four leaf clover or uh, something, you know, green leaves. And um, even though I'm not swapping, I wanted to make embellishments uh, for this project of hers or for this hop of hers um, and actually show them being used. I do know that she also takes a bunch of hers and uses them as well. I just don't know if she uses them right away or if they're from last year or, you know, when does she get around to using them? And that's one of the things that um, I, I get a lot of people asking, okay, I see you make this, but now how do you use it on your layout? And so that is one of the things I wanted to take on was here's my, here's my take on her uh, theme and then I'm going to use it on my layout. Um, so sometimes I make four, which is the limit. Um, sometimes I just make what I need to play with. Um, last, I think last 
weekend, I ended up using or making three. So because of the three cluster thing. And then this one here, I was just playing because I wasn't really sure what my, uh, what my space limit was going to be, you know, um, I, I, I had really no idea. I was just playing, um, in all honesty. So I'm, I'm going to make two of the exact same thing using this, um, uh, well, weed cluster. <laughs> I don't know if those are weeds or not, but that's what it looks like. Um, and then of course, all of my leaves. Now here I'm using my thumbs to curl up the leaves. And then I remember that I have a ball stylus and the ball stylus works really, really well at curling up the leaves for you super fast. I mean, as you can tell, I, I, I don't know why I forget this tool all the time, but I definitely do get all these leaves curled up super, super fast. Um, so once I get all my leaves done, I divide and conquer. I split them up into two. So that way I had, um, uh, green leaves for both of my um, chipboard pieces. And now what I'm doing is I am tucking the green um, behind the other, you know, behind the chipboard to make it look more full and, um, and alive, basically. Uh, I really wanted to give it that look of, um, you know, wild flowers or why, you know, um, a field of wild weeds that just grow out and nobody maintains it nobody manicures it it's just overgrown and uh, mixed in and um, you know just a, a gorgeousness mess of of greenery right or, or florally um, and so I just absolutely love love how it turned out however as I was making my second one I kind of felt like it was missing something I, I really did it's it just seems to me like it's a lot of green and I want just a pop of color in there. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly yet what it is. Uh, I apologize about my green thumb. I have no green thumb. <laughs> uh, but my um, Dina Wakely, uh, I, I don't even know what color it was. My Dina Wakely dark green would not spray. And so when I went to go use my backup spray nozzle, it wasn't the spray nozzle. And it, the bottle just basically blew up on me and went all over my hands and all over the bottle. It was a huge mess that I had to clean up and um, I haven't gone and washed my hands yet. Now I washed my hands to work with all the rest of my product and uh, the green thumb is gone. But I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, uh, my bottles do blow up every now and then. I have no clue what causes it in all honesty, but I decided that I was going to take this again. It's another pretty little studio paper. This one is actually called Grateful Heart. Um, I used it a couple days ago. <clears throat> actually, I don't think you guys get to see this one yet. Yeah, I have, you guys haven't seen this video yet, so don't look. Um, <laughs> but this scrap is from another layout that I created um, that, that is coming up soon. And it was the perfect match to the floral paper that is from the um, Ginger Snap or yeah, Ginger Snap collection. Um, so I decided that it was going to be the perfect little addition into my field of green. And then I decided to stamp a couple butterflies, seeing how there was butterflies in my inspiration floral print. Um, now they're not going to match exactly. That would have been cool if they did, but they are not. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give them some life by curling them up using my um, uh, ball stylus tool. And then I'm going to scatter my uh, flowers throughout my greenery, throughout my fields of green. <clears throat> so I'm going to scatter them and I do love this a lot more. Like I am enjoying this very, very much. Like it is just the perfect pop of color. It's not too in your face bright. It's not too... Um, it is just perfect. They, they are just tucked in and, and brought in just perfectly. So I did bring in some enamel dots. Now these ones here are, um, I think Stampin' Up! calls them candy dots because they're not made out of enamel. Uh, I don't really know exactly what they're made out of, but I had um, some in yellow and just enough to do the dots that are on my on my my fields of green but i didn't have enough to do my extra flowers with so i picked out some plastic dots that were from a paper pumpkin kit and then i'm going to take all the bodies of my butterflies and color them with my journaling pen but then i decided that they needed a, um, the little antennae so i'm going to take some twine and put it on there now as an afterthought i probably should have glued this behind 
the butterfly, but I do like the fact that um, they do cover up a little bit of that black because it was a, a, a bit much. Um, so I did the, the two large ones on camera and then the littler ones off camera because it was a little bit more challenging. And there is a close up of my fields of green, which I am silly excited about. They turned out so good. I, I just can't, I, yay, I'm so super excited. I love how my title turned out. I am just ready to put this layout together. Now, I do have to apologize again, you guys. I am so sorry. I, I have not changed my camera angle, but I also haven't remembered that it is about an inch above where it needs to be. So even though I don't do anything at the bottom of my layout, it is very frustrating when you can't see the whole layout. I know because I had to edit it and it was frustrating me that I could not see the bottom half of the layout. I don't know why um, it is so frustrating, but uh, like I said, I don't do anything down there, but it's still frustrating for me that I don't get to see the whole all four edges of the paper. I just don't know what that is. All right. And of course, um, I, I didn't, I totally forgot that I did not put my photo mats down or my photos down on the photo mats. I went to go put them together and it's like a big mess. They tried to stick to the photo. Thank goodness I didn't ruin my photo. It tried to stick to my, <laughs> my desk. Oh my gosh. Um, so I decided to go ahead and uh, put my photo mats together really, really quickly um, before I forgot again. I don't know how that happened. Um, and go ahead and put them on the layout because basically the layout is done. All I have to do is figure out where I'm going to put my embellishments and my title and do a little bit of sprinkling bits. And I mean, it's, it's done. It is so done. Now I definitely could have built these clusters onto my layout, but that isn't, um, I don't think that's the kind of video Ginger wants. Ginger wants to see how the embellishments are made, um, you know, if I was to be a part of her swaps. That's that's kind of how it is. So um, I didn't like the fields of green in um, uh, cascading into my wood grain and my floral. I felt like they just got lost and blended in too much. So I moved my title off to where I was going to have it and I'm going to put my fields of green over on the right side because I feel like that's where it's showcased the best and then I can also scatter my butterflies going up and down the page which I really like as well so I decided to put my title over here on the wood grain and um floral print and I like that it does it doesn't hide like I thought it was going to and then of course I'm going to add uh, my last little bits of butterflies over there just to bring that look over across my page um, and, and it be a little bit cohesive. So I, I did also remove a butterfly. I didn't like that fourth butterfly hanging down at the bottom of my page. And now I'm taking all my extra bits and filling in my fields of green to make it look like it's dimensional by having a flower in the background as well. So, and that is my layout for today. I had a blast creating with this layout. It was so much fun making my field of green. Um, I did not end up using my second one, which is A-OK. -okay. Uh, and again, I so apologize for having the last inch of my layout always cut off. And I, I, <laughs> I'm going to have to move my layout back to where either you get the ugly dot from the lamp or um, you just keep getting the layouts cut off because the couple more videos that I edit, it's going to be the same. So I apologize. Ashley, thank you so much for an amazing sketch to work with. I had a blast. Don't forget to check out the two links below for Christy's Beautiful Life. And Ginger, this was an, a very fun theme to play with today. Uh, I had a blast as well. So thank you very much for this really fun hop um, that is going to be every Saturday for um, the rest of the year, just in case you guys are first time watchers for this series. Um, and then there is a list down below for all the girls that are playing along with Ginger's um, little hop here. Also, don't forget that some girls are only committed to do one a month. Um, where some are doing every weekend and then some like me I'm kind of hit or miss depending on what my assignments are for Saturday I know I have assignments like a little school girl it's great all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really truly appreciate it I appreciate when you guys all stop by every day so thank you so much and I will check y'all later bye <music>